Dave, I'm not going to read what you wrote down here until you explain to me what a street scrambler actually is. Is it, is it an, an adventure street bot? Wait a minute, haven't we had this conversation before, Dave? Is it, a, is it an off-road bike? Is it a street bike? Is it an adventure bike? Retro? I mean, who rides them? Welcome back to Long Way Home, everyone. The place where getting your motorcycle news is uh, easier than using cheap nostalgia to market motorcycles, but not by much. So, what have Triumph launched last week? Well, a new 2022 Street Scrambler and a limited Sandstorm Edition. Although they are called Street Scramblers, these models are firmly aimed towards street riding rather than any serious pretensions for off-road scrambling. Stick around to find out more. The Street Scrambler range is based on the T100 Bonneville platform with a few tweaks to suspension, wheels, front brake and cosmetics to make it a bit more rugged looking and to suggest it could go off-road if the rider wanted to. I suspect it will appeal to the urban hipster crowd, the type of guys with immaculately curfewed beard and hair, tribal artwork on each arm, very tight jeans, nicely polished brown leather boots and a soft spot for expensive satchel bags. Don't let that put you off though, it should still be a good little bike. Dave, I see that dictionary the Easter Bunny brought you like really paid off very well. There's a lot of big words in there. Well done. That said, I suspect these bikes would be able to handle farm tracks and dirt roads and that sort of thing without much trouble, but anything more than that, for the diehard Triumph fan and the bigger and better equipped 1200 Scrambler range looks like a better, although more expensive option. Speaking of pricing, the new 2022 Street Scrambler is 11,000 US dollars for the base model and 11,750 for the Sandstorm Edition. Triumph are only making 775 of the Sandstorm Edition and each will come with a unique personalized certificate of authenticity stating the bike's VIN number. Given the extra kit and exclusivity they have over the base model, expect them to disappear from showrooms faster than a 75 inch flat screen TV being stolen in a riot. So if you want one, head on down to your local Triumph dealer right now. The new Street Scrambler range comes with a Euro 5 compliant 900cc Bonneville engine delivering peak power of 65 horsepower at 7250 rpm and a healthy grunt of 80 newton meters of peak torque from way low down at 3250 rpm. Triumph hasn't stopped there though, there are more refreshed parts on these bikes than a Hollywood actress after a visit to a plastic surgeon. New side panel with aluminium number board, new heel guards, brushed aluminium headlight brackets, adventure oriented seat material, whatever on earth that is, new throttle body finishes and three new paint schemes plus the Sandstorm special edition. Dave, did I tell you that I once knew a very nice lady with an adventure oriented seat? We'll leave that story for another time. The display is a more traditional affair, not the new TFT on the 1200 range. It features an analog speedometer and a digital menu system, which is accessed via handlebar mounted buttons. The under the seat USB charger, key fob incorporated immobilizer and the LED rear light are good additions too. No keyless go on the street scrambler though, which is a bit of a disappointment for a bike aimed at the urban environment. Not only has the Street Scrambler range had a nip and tuck, but it's also got some quality new features in the chassis and rideability department. It comes with a Brembo front brake, cartridge forks, three riding modes, road, rain and off-road, switchable ABS, switchable traction control and torque assist clutch. The Street Scrambler's chassis setup offers a traditional riding position, similar to that of the T100 but with wide aluminium handlebars and bare trapped foot pegs, Good for both the urban and more rural environments, while a Brembo 4-piston front brake caliper should provide responsive and compliant braking. The 41mm cartridge forks and preload adjustable twin shocks provide 120mm of suspension travel to keep the 19-inch front and 17-inch rear blacked out wire-spoked wheels on the ground. 
fucked, but uh, not tubeless, sadly, because uh, of reasons. Money. Money. That's the only reason, Triumph. Dual purpose Metzler Turan's tires come as standard and the 790mm seat height and narrowish width allows the more vertically challenged among us to enjoy the bike without teetering around on tiptoes when at a stop. Lastly, what does the limited edition Sandstorm offer the discerning Triumph customer that the basic Street Scrambler doesn't? It comes with all the new bits that the standard Street Scrambler does but has a distinct color scheme of matte storm grey and iron stone accents which just looks like grey with some slightly darker greyer bits to me. It also offers a decent list of accessories as standard which seem to be worth more than the 750 bucks price difference thereby making the Sandstorm a better deal. It comes with a color matched high level front mudguard, a tail tidy with compact LED rear light a very solid looking sum guard, a headlight grill and best of all rubber knee pads on the tank as all classic looking triumphs should have. Alright commenty comments time, street scramblers, serious bike or fashion statement. Are you a fan of these weird retro bikes? If you have one, where do you usually ride it? Let us know in the comments below. Well that's the show for today everyone, if you've enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up and if you think you've learned something new. Consider subscribing or becoming one of our patrons to help us make more of these shows. Cheers and I'll see you on the next one.